Welcome back. Now, the Vitality Netball Super League returns early next year, but it's squad announcement season as the 11 franchises reveal their players for the upcoming campaign. And we've got an exclusive here on Good Morning Sports fans as London Pulse reveal their 12 strong squad for 2023. And their under 15 players were given the big job of announcing some big name signings. London Pulse 2023. Alicia Skulls. Chelsea Pittman. For me, for Doji. Barry Neal. Zara Everett. Olivia Tashin. Sasha McDonald. Ashley Decker. Hallie Matt Adio. Ellie Ratu. Lindsay Keeble. Jay Clark. What a lineup that is. Some returning faces in there and two exciting new additions, including Jade Clark, England's most capped player. And she's here in the studio this morning alongside director of netball and CEO of London Pulse, Sam Bird. So good to have you both with us. And Jade, in the pink of Pulse for yes. the upcoming season, what was behind the move from Leeds Rhinos? Yeah, really exciting opportunity. I've had an amazing time at Leeds Rhinos, I like being able to to be at the beginning of that franchise. I've just met some amazing people. Yeah, felt like the right time to make that move. Uh, London Pool's really exciting, young squad. They've got so many players involved in the England Roses programme, so it'll be a smooth transition, training with them week in, week out internationally, and then going into that club environment with Might them. Might be a big benefit as well for England, heading into a World Cup. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a moment. Um, Sam, you've signed Jade, obviously, bags of experience that she brings to the side at Chelsea Pittman as well who has a lot of experience internationally and in Australia why is it so important to bring in the likes of these two well as you know we've got a super talented young squad and we've been um, doing really well with that young talent but to have two world-class players like Jade and Chelsea to come into the mix and really just strengthen that provide that competition experience with the talent we've got we felt that it was absolutely the right chemistry to try and win this year I mean Jade's mentioned it as well there are so many London Pulse players in both the the England full-time program and in the futures program as well what do you hope to achieve with this group of players with the added benefit of Jade's experience? Uh, well, it hurt not getting into the final, um, so we're looking to make the final this year, but, but also really just, um, it's a bit like being in a sweet shop, to develop these personalities and these uh, connections between these amazing players is going to be a real um, pleasure for us, and the coaching staff are really excited to be working with this group. and. Um, you know, I am an England fan and uh, I think it's really important that we develop these England partnerships as well and we can help support England do that within our club. And we can see some of the, the action from the Super League last season. It was, it was such a competitive league last season. Jade, you were playing for, for Leeds Rhinos, as we can see you in, the, in there on the, the edge of the circle. I mean, you, you've been to a lot of new teams yeah. in the past. Leeds, of course, in their, their inaugural season in the last couple of years. At Wasps as well before that. Pulse are still quite young in the Super League. And as Sam said, top four finish last season. What is it for you that is so appealing about being with these, these newer teams? Yeah, I've watched them grow over the last few years and just just watching them develop and players like Fumi Fadoju, obviously amazing. Also plays new into the squad like Alicia Scholes, that really excites me. And also having the old head of Chelsea and like being reunited with her. So really excited to play with them all and just seeing what they're about. You know, I've experienced playing against them, which was very difficult. They've got bags of energy. So being in that training environment, chasing the tails, it's going to be brilliant. Chelsea might not love you for calling her old. <laughs> this but you mentioned Alicia Scholes as well. Of course, Paul Scholes' is daughter and she's got that, that speed and aggression on court that he had on the football pitch. Um, Sam, there have been some interesting moves in the last sort of month or so as teams have been announcing their teams. What have been the big eye-catching player signings and departures across the Super League that have caught your eye? Um, well, I think Lenise going to Thunder is a, a big a big one. Um, I think that's really good to attract a player of that quality to our league. And we're seeing um, a few Australians and Kiwis coming over that have got British heritage. So they're not classed as, the, as an import player. As uh, people may not be aware, teams are only allowed two import players. Um, but I think there will be players that come in that are not... Um, classed as import players but are foreign and that's really good to strengthen our league as well to um, create extra competition and that makes the the league really exciting 
Yeah, there's player moves. There's lots of coaching changes as well this year. So many of the franchises, four or five, were in need of a, of a new head coach at the end of last season. That will add some added drama and a lot of unknowns going into 2023. Yeah, I think so. And um, coaching's hard business um, and it's tough and um, it's a challenging role. It can be quite lonely. But I know that the coaches that have gained those jobs are fantastic personalities. They're really strong-willed. They've played at top-class level themselves. So, again, I think it brings a new bit of spice. It might bring slightly different styles to the league and that can only be a really good thing for the league. And Jade, what's been the big off-season move for you? I know there's been a couple of big signings at Surrey Storm. They've got Leila Gusketh and Sophie Drakeford, Drakeford Lewis in from uh, Team Bath. The Manchester Thunder, who won the league last year, have had a lot of departures as well. What's, what's been the one for you that's made you do a double take? Yeah, I think Thunder's been interesting with the departures, but they're still so strong. They've still got those young players coming through who have been knocking at the door. And I think for me, like you said, Leila and um, Sophie Drakeford Lewis going to Storm and Amy Flanagan return after having a year out I think they'll be a team to watch what about the move of Caroline O'Hanlon to your old team Leeds yes Rhinos? yeah I think Leeds have got a real great international flavor they've got like a lot of superstars and Liana Leota superstar coach as well I'm sure she'll blend them together really well it feels like a very long time until the season gets underway but it will come round quickly I know Sam's probably thinking it's not that long at all really is it um, there is of course before that though we've got the England series against Uganda which is live on Sky Sports Jade I know you're here this morning as to yeah. whether you are in that squad. So, so fingers crossed. How important is this upcoming series and all the internationals between now and the start of the Super League season as netball heads into a World Cup year? Yeah, it's such an important year. And we've got Uganda series, then we're going to Australia. So, and it's really important to, to build the depth. And we've got so much depth in England. We've got the biggest future squad we've ever had. So everyone's fighting those for those places. And I think that's going to be the difference for us this year, that depth, everyone competing for those places. And yes, we'll find out in half an hour we're like, which squad we're going to be in or not. Um, there was disappointment for England in the, the Commonwealth Games this summer to, yeah. to miss out on the medal after, you know, having won gold in, in 2018 in Australia and finishing third at, at the last World Cup. Yeah. How have the group recovered and, and putting that to one side? Yeah, I think you've got to take time after it to actually grieve and then spend time with your family and actually get away from that wall and get your head sorted and then come back with like renewed vigour and we are on a mission, we're going for it. And you have to use your experience to know that you're going to use that experience to drive yourself forward and become better. And, and Sam, heading into this World Cup year, we've seen the huge success of the Lionesses in winning the European Championships over the summer. We know WSL ticket sales are up as their season gets underway today. It's the Rugby World Cup next month. How much of an exciting time is this to be a part of for, for all women's sport? Uh, it's, it's fantastic. I mean, uh, I can never get anything done because I'm just watching <laughs> looking for female sport across Sky and other channels so I think it's fantastic I think it's really important we're seeing a shift in female sport going to support this, their own sports as well um, I think traditionally women would often let the guys go actually and watch watch matches and it's really important that women champion their own sports and the quality is there so the quality of uh, this sport is there and you can see by the growing numbers that people do want to watch it and um, it's great it's great and, and female sport is very collaborative so we do champion each other um, and I think that's a real strength of us across all those sports as well. How important is it for netball to which is you know it's not like in football when there is a the men's version of the game to really capitalise on this momentum. It's so so important. It's um, and I, I've, obviously I'm biased because I'm very passionate about netball, but. It's such a great sport, it's such a great, it does so much good for people that take part, all the people that volunteer, the people that umpire, coach, score. Um, it's just such an inclusive sport and um, I would encourage anyone that doesn't yet love netball to give it a go and uh, I promise you, you will do. <laughs> so very well said, Sam. Jade, a, a big year for you domestically, yeah. internationally. You've been playing this sport a while. Yeah. Still got another year, two, three, another couple of World Cups. Oh, in definitely. There. I'm going to keep playing until they kick me out. I was just speaking to this with Sam. She just said, you know, keep going while you love it. And I do. I just want to keep learning and growing. And yeah, still love it. Well, really great to have you both with us this morning. Uh, congrats on the new team Thank and you. best of luck when the new season rolls around and for that Uganda series, should you get that call in about <laughs> half an hour's time, Jay. Thank you.